Ladies, gentlemen, and Herodrum of all ages, it's now been two whole days since the release of the mid-season patch for Diablo 4 Season 3, 1.3.3, in all of its glory. And while it did actually have a fair amount to add to the game, the general player sentiment response that I've seen from the community is that it is just sort of underwhelming. It's disappointing, it's not enough. So let's talk about this patch, and most notably its main feature, the gauntlet. We'll talk about the community response to this, where it stems from, what I think of these complaints, and what the developers have said about the sentiment as well, and then we'll just sort of talk about how this type of thing could possibly be fixed to be more enjoyable for more people in the future. First things first, the sentiment then. The biggest uproar that I have seen come out from people is that the activity is boring, and honestly that's because it is sort of made for a very specific type of player, and I think that with the right mindset going into it, it's actually very fun, but that same mindset is also sort of punished by the way that they've designed this activity, and that mindset is going into the gauntlet, doing a few runs of experimentation, working out the layout of the map map each week, ideal paths, good groupings, things like that, and then using the brain in your noggin to really just come up with the best strategy to go with from there. As at this point, the gauntlet hasn't required anything weird of us as far as builds go, not in this first week, so the builds that we've been using have been basically a non-factor outside of just wanting the highest damage and movement speed that your class can get, so essentially it comes down to how good is your build and how good is your strat. And the thing that I think I enjoy the most personally about this is that a good strategy will get you further in the gauntlet, it'll get you a better score than just having a good build will. I've been running a charge hammer of the ancients barbarian build, but one with no uber uniques, and everyone within miles of my score either direction has grandfather, shake of the harlequin crest, and then also starless skies. So three extremely powerful uber uniques all being used in tandem. What this tells me is that my strategy, the one that I am using, is of a far higher tier than the people around me who are achieving the same scores with much better gear. Those people with those uber uniques simply do way more damage than me, a lot faster and can use charge more frequently than I can, which means they can move faster than me too. Which means if we were doing the exact same thing, the exact same route, the exact same way, they would all be significantly ahead of me in actual score. Then we come to the big issue with this concept of it though, which is that the activity lasts for an entire week before it changes up. And well, at least from my perspective, and this is a weird one to come from me maybe, probably a bit more self-aware than you'll hear me say in a while, but I think that the gauntlet is genuinely made worse for a lot of people by the existence of content creators. My favorite part of it is how much a good strategy can outpace a better build, better stats, but given that a week with the same static dungeon, the community will always 100% work out the numerically correct best routing to take within the gauntlet. This will eventually spread to more players, videos will be made about it and spread it out even further, and the people who really want good scores will be watching these. And then in the end, in all likelihood, the top few hundred scores each week for each class will end up being the exact same route and strat, the exact same build concept, and the only difference will be minor stat differences between the players, or a lucky overpower proc or two along the way, some lucky RNG here or there, some better boss AI perhaps, because the question realistically is, what leaderboard spot you hit at the end of the week, not the highest that you hit when you first hit it. And so that last day of the week, all the tryhard people will just be grinding the community accepted strongest route with the best gear that they can and taking all of the high spots that way, no matter what you accomplish before that. I don't think there is a single thing wrong with the people doing that, because it's just a part of how the activity is designed to begin with. People are incentivized to do that. I think it is a lot of fun competing for a spot in the first few hours of it though, where everyone is sort of learning things as they go, everyone's developing their own strategies, because then it's just whoever actually comes up with the best strategies the fastest, but in the long term of the week to week, the actual end point of each leaderboard, it's just going to come down to how commonly known the best route becomes and how well geared you are. Past that, the next point of contest is that it just isn't at all rewarding enough to begin with. If you make it to Seal of the Worthy each week, which is the top thousand, the actual proper top bracket, you get multiple boxes, all containing 925 item power loot. There are no guaranteed uniques, no bonus chances at uber uniques, nothing like that. It's just 925 item power gear. And the main reason that that's a problem is the time of the gauntlet releasing. Obviously the gauntlet is a permanent mechanic, meaning that it won't just be around for the season, it'll be around forever now that it's in the game. But its initial release, being a month and a half into the season, means that most of the people who care enough to compete for the high leaderboard rankings, the ones that would give them the 925 item power gear, 
already have all 925 item power gear from farming other things like Duriel. And so the reward for them is just sort of inconsequential outside of potential bragging rights if you get a nice leaderboard spot. Then we come to the base concept of the activity, which is that it's in its nature to cater to the less casual audience, to the players who really love to grind things out. The first time you walk into the gauntlet for the week, you will have no clue what is going on. That's just how it is. You don't know what is where, you don't know any of the bosses, what shrines they drop, nothing like that. This activity wants you to run it multiple times. It wants you to learn. It wants you to run it hundreds of times per week, even for the really top spots. And the more times that you run it, the better it will feel because the score will just get better and better as your runs get tighter and that feels good. But again, we come back to the reward issue. The rewards are sort of minimal. So the people who would normally enjoy grinding something like that are just sort of not caring about this a whole lot because it's just bragging rights and day RPGs aren't generally about bragging rights as much as they are about, you know, feeling more powerful. Then the more casual audience doesn't really like it because it requires quite a number of attempts to actually even get into the rhythm of the weekly setup to begin with. So it doesn't really cater to the five to 10 hours a week type players either. And even if it did, they would never really have a chance of reaching the scores of the few people who really do want to know life their way into the top leaderboard spots. And again, I have no issue with the people who do that. They're just playing the system that was put into the game, but essentially that's just the full scope of what I view as being an issue with this activity. I think the base concept of it is genuinely fun. It's intriguing. I love the idea of score being the the thing that decides success rather than literal speed from one place to another or literal stat breakpoints like Abattoir of Zir in your offense or defense, your ability to survive or damage. It asks you to use your brain and plan at least as much as you use your equipment. But in a world where other people will do the brain work for you and then tell you where you should go, it will realistically just come down to who has the best gear and the most time to shove into that strategy that everyone else has also been doing over the course of a full week. Unfortunately, the only real way that you could possibly stay this off would be to have the gauntlet rotate more often, actually change what the set dungeon layout is more frequently, but that would also directly result in more work for the team, as well as much more blended leaderboards, it would be more confusing, so who knows how they would even feel about that really. As far as the activity being rewarding in the future, they should do something like guaranteed good gear based score thresholds. If you make it into the top 1000, for example, you should get a free, unique, guaranteed at the end of the run. Not uber unique, not necessarily anything like that, just anything from the unique pool, but you get it guaranteed. That's honestly not even a large amount to give someone for that feat. 1,000 uniques per class to the community per week is not much to ask for by any means, but it would feel at least a bit more rewarding than just a guaranteed bit of 925 item power gear that you probably don't even need at this point. So that's my two cents on it at least. Of course, you don't necessarily need a random unique either, but at least it's a chance at an uber unique, and when it comes to next season, getting that guaranteed bonus unique, especially early on, will be really good for getting your builds put together early. Overall, I think awkwardly people will actually actually appreciate the gauntlet a hell of a lot more in season four when it is around right from the start and the 925 item power gear might actually help. But for now, I can absolutely understand why people have so many issues with it. I can see at its core what could make this activity fun. And I think it will get a lot more fun until the majority of the community has uber uniques again next season. And I can see that the mindset that would make it extra enjoyable too. It's just unfortunate that right now there's just too much surrounding the enjoyable parts in the center that we need to sort of chisel out the good bits and sculpt around it to build it to be even better. But hopefully that just means the activity is improvable as time goes on. As far as the dev response to all this has been then, well, there has not actually been any at all. Will they respond? I don't know. They've been reasonably good at at least acknowledging the things the community has been unhappy about in recent times, but so far they have been quiet about this entirely since its release. Generally from their recent behavior though, if I was going to make assumptions, I would say they are probably just taking in all the feedback, trying to hear whatever they can from us right now, and trying to work out some changes to deploy in the following weeks. Will those changes be the right changes? Will they be enough to actually fix it for a lot of people? I don't know, but I would expect them to try and tweak this in some way to make it more enjoyable to the player base at large. What are your thoughts on all this then? Are you enjoying the gauntlet personally, or are you experiencing some of these problems yourself? Or do you even have a completely separate complaint that I didn't bring up here? Well, feel free to leave it down in the comments if so. Like if you liked the video, subscribe and hit the notification bell for more. And most importantly, ladies and gentlemen, until next time, stay sweet. Josh, Cotton, and Hollow with the videos Dropping the humor like a hammer on your tippy toes Bringing entertainment on a daily arrangement To take our insanity and turn it into entertainment Yes, I said entertainment twice To reiterate that it is nice To look into your faces on a mostly daily basis When you let us in your homes to make the whole world a stage Is, uh, goodbye